All right, so hey everyone, this is just a quick tip here to show you how to use um, Logic Pro X Drummer, uh, how you can control uh, third-party drum samples in, in real time. Um, so I have a Steven Slate kit here loaded up, and I have the drummer here. Now by the drummer by itself, which is gonna, it's playing a beat here. And that sounds like that. And then, uh, so the trick is to hit shift and option and drag this part here. And then you get an alias file of the MIDI here. Now that's on the Steven Slate track. And then you wanna mute your drummer and still highlight the track here so you can have the drum uh, interface down here. <clears throat> and that sounds like this. So now we're controlling the Steven Slate drums in real time. All right, so that's that. Um, it's basically playing general or yeah, general MIDI here in the drummer. So if you're using other plugins, you might, it's general MIDI, so you're gonna have to uh, adjust it for uh, whatever sampler you're using. Steven Slate's working pretty fine here, but if you're using other ones, like Addictive Drums, I think their mapping is a little different. Okay, let's let's change the kit. Let's say you want to change it to the uh, or electronic kits. Okay, so if you want to do this little step further here, you can take the drummer plug-in. Um, I've added a bass line here, just from one of the Apple loops. Um, and then you take your drummer and kick and snare follow, and then you select that track. Uh, Latin baby bass, as it's labeled there. Um, and then it'll play along with the bass. Sorry. So a little more complexity. Even add the real drummer, the logic drummer back in.
starting to fall off just to see what would happen. So that's pretty cool. Um, follow feature there. Uh, you can check out my other video on the follow feature, how I did it with piano and guitar and some other stuff. But uh, all right, so that's a little uh, quick tip there on how to get the drummer to work with other plugins, third-party plugins, drums. Talk to you soon.